Welcome to UCMDB 10.30 What's New, featuring REST API. In order to help our customers access some of our basic APIs more easily, in addition to the existing Java and SOAP APIs, UCMDB introduced new RESTful web services. The objective here is to offer our customers RESTful web services that can be easily used for development, especially for integrating other products and services. UCMDB version 10.30 now comes with integrated RESTful web services that can execute RESTful APIs. For customers that use UCMDB version 10.10 .10 or later, a REST API WAR file can be deployed in a standalone mode on a separate Tomcat server. The current release exposes RESTful operations for CRUD operations on data model, create, read, update, and delete CIs and relationships, executing a topology query by name, executing a topology query describing by request body, and retrieving all related CIs and links for a particular CI. We will now demonstrate REST API in UCMDB 10.30 with a short video. In this video, you will see how to obtain the authorization token, create CIs and relationships, retrieve the attributes of a CI, execute a topology query by name, and retrieve all related CIs and links for a particular CI. We will now demonstrate some basic operations that are supported by the new REST API. To run the HTTP request, we will use the Insomnia REST client. First, let's obtain the authentication token from the server by running the authentication REST API. As you can see, the request sends a JSON containing username, password, and the client context. The response from this POST request is a token we will use from now on for each of our requests. Next, we will demonstrate how CIs and relationships can be added. For this purpose, we will use a POST request using the slash REST API slash data model path. As you can see, the JSON contains the CIs and links we want to create. Each request must include the authorization token we received previously. As you can see, six elements were added, three CIs and three relationships. Now we will execute a request to retrieve the attributes of a CI. We will run a GET request using the global ID of a previously added CI. And the CI's attributes are retrieved. We will now continue to execute a topology query by name. The name of the query must be in the body of the request. In the results, we get all the matching CIs and their global IDs. In the last example, we will retrieve all the related CIs and links for a particular CI. For this purpose, we will execute an HTTP request using the slash REST API slash data model slash related CI path and the global ID of the CI. The results contains the CI and links related to this CI.